Hi, welcome to Sunday. Today we're going to be going over some paperwork. It's going to be kind of boring, even more boring than normal. So you're probably going to want to have a cup of coffee or some tea or whatever else it is that helps keep you awake. Um, I'm getting you ready to write your first literary theme analysis and I do have some paperwork that you're going to need to have in front of you before we move on. So if you take a look at this week two button, um, you'll find some downloads. Let's see, we have a download of a student example of a literary theme analysis. We have fill in the blank forms for the intro paragraph. We have fill in the blank forms for uh, the actual body paragraph. We have um, a video from the teacher friend of mine. We have kind of a really ridiculous, I don't know why I did it, um, video from me. And you have what's most important at this very moment is a six-page download of the MLA format. It's a packet I created. Instead of you having to uh, pay $95 for a book in the bookstore, you can pay $0.60 because it's $0.10 cents a page to print at the college. Um, and you'll have what you need to know in order to properly present your papers following the MLA format. So let's take a look here. Um, Actually, let's not take a look there. Let's take a look here. Uh, this is the six-page packet that I was mentioning. Um, I'm not going to stop and look through everything, but this is what it looks like. What we're going to do now is take a look at the intro paragraph. There are always two paragraphs to your analysis, the intro paragraph and the body paragraph. The intro paragraph, it needs... It, the purpose of it is to let me know who the people are, some facts about the story that you're analyzing, the piece of art that you're analyzing. So who's the protagonist? Who, what is her motivation? What's keeping her from getting what she wants? What is the setting? What's the mini plot? Which means what's going on when? Um, what is the theme? What is the main idea? And after you uh, watch the video, um, you will know what a theme is and the dictionary definition of the theme. So please fill this out before you start your intro paragraph. This is a fill in the blank form for your body paragraph. Um, I Many students um, enjoy having this just because you can fill in the blanks and um, have your body paragraph basically handwritten before um, anybody before you type it. Think of it this way. Think of it as um, that you are going to fill out the previous paper for your intro paragraph and this one you're going to handwrite it and then you're going to give it to somebody else to type. So make sure um, that it's that clear that um, somebody else could actually type your paper for you. Let's see. Um, there's that paper. We have um, this which is an actual student written paper. So we have our header here, our heading here, our title here, which is basically, basically a very similar to your theme that you're planning on proving, and your subtitle here, which is in, you're just indicating what the assignment is. And what I'd like you to do is read through this. There's there's uh, the intro paragraph right here. Um, I've highlighted some uh, important parts. This is a thesis statement. Um, we've got, well, this is what I'd like you to do. Why don't you download and print this, and why don't you identify the protagonist, the antagonist, the setting, the mini plot, um, the theme, the theme identification, uh, the citation for the theme, identification or definition and your thesis statement which indicates what theme you plan on proving. Um, let's see body paragraph one it looks great. Um, I I usually keep this in my paper but um, some people find it a little confusing because um, they just do so that's why I cut it for the purpose of this lesson. So um, your topic sentence is basically just like the 
um, title of your body paragraph. So it is a young child turtle who King Solomon uses to demonstrate the negative effects of invisibility which result from misogyny. Misogyny meaning the hatred of women. And then for example, these are pinpoint sentences. These are the sentences that pinpoint what's going on in the story right before the evidence takes place. I need to know what's going on in the story right before the evidence takes place. So you really, really, really need to do so. Begin your second sentence in your body paragraph with the words, for example, um, and then start telling me what's going on in the story. When we first meet her, Turtle is concealed within a colorful blanket. So we learn about what's going on with Turtle. We learn what's going on with Taylor. We know um, where Taylor is in her 1976 Volkswagen Bug. And then we have the concrete evidence. This is the evidence that's going to prove the theme that invisibility leads to misogyny. Um, when I pulled off the pants and diapers, there were bruises, bruises, and more. The Indian child was a girl, a girl poor thing. That fact had already burdened her short life with a kind of misery I could not imagine. I thought I knew everything, every, every other thing ugly thing that one person could do to another, but I had never thought about such things being done to a baby girl. I tried not to throw up. This is a beautiful piece of concrete evidence in that it's powerful and it proves my point. Um, Seamus O'Malley, you may have figured out by now, is actually my pseudonym um, as a student. Let's see. It's upsetting, in a, obviously it's upsetting in a sense. Um, we know in the Native American culture that uh, 50% of all females are molested um, and or raped between the ages of 8 and 16. We know in white America uh, the average of reported molestations is 20% of all girls between the ages of 12 and 21. So either way, the stats are awful. That said, this evidence is great in that it helps prove my point that invisibility leads to misogyny. Um, and then this is the analysis part. This is the fun part. And I hate to use the word fun in this analysis, but I think you know what I mean. This is the part where you get to tell me how this evidence proves your topic sentence to be true. So you're going to pull words and phrases from here, like you'll see I put bruises and worse. And the words bruises and worse are in here. Bruises and more, actually. Um, let me fix that. So um, this is the part that's fabulous in that you just get to share your opinion. You get to get mad, get upset, ask questions, um, and take it to a different level. And there we have that. And then the Works Cited page, which you know all about. So take care. Talk to me um, if you need to. Email me, and I'll get back to you in 24 hours. Peace.